Welcome back to Patriot, chapter 5, 6, I'm losing count, Saboteur. What's everyone? The one where we sabotage this place, and we're heading into the live testing area for the new bot. Do we want to keep the escape door open? I think we want to keep our escape door open. It does say proceed at your own risk. Hmm. Funny skull on the door there. Because there are active bots in here, we do not want to be alerting them to our presence just yet. Oh wow. This is a cool room. Uh, I didn't do that. Is that a bot down there? I'm gonna stay quiet. There's a bot. Oh, what's that's uh that's not the System Shock 2 bot, that's a brand new highly metalized child of carrots. They've done the face fixing. They've mounted an enormous cannon on the top. That's... And it goes invisible? That seems dangerous. Wish I had those mines. Does it ever become, un become visible again? Or is it, does it only go visible, invisible when you look at it? If I look away, does it, does it come back? What, does it come back? Or maybe it just fades in and out over it on a timer. There's a big ladder there. So we could sneak in behind it, maybe. Hmm. I don't have a plan though. Although we do need to put in the northwest we need to put our charge. Right where the guy where the guy is. I oh, there he goes fading out. Yeah, I think he just doesn't want a timer. Does that mean there's maybe more in here that I haven't seen? Not just the one. It's possible. How would I know until I get this shot by them? Unless they happen to fade. And this ladder looks a little more friendly. But I do wonder if it sees behind it, because that would be a useful skill, useful ability, right? For these bots to have. I mean, I have an invisibility potion as well, so it's not like... It's the only one that can go invisible. My invisibility only lasts, like, 10 seconds. And then it's used up. So it has to be the right 10 seconds. Uh, I could slow for my way down here as well, but since we found the ladder, I might as well try the ladder. All metal floors. Doesn't look like metal floors out here. Where's that go? It's all that it goes through. Okay. Some rather damaged test targets. Hello. Can I reach that? I use some of the old bots as for testing, I guess. I don't want to go too far down that way. Oh, well, I guess we're in shadow here. We should be alright here, right?
I think the bot is right around that corner, right? Facing this direction. I don't want to risk it. Also got the speed potion, that might be useful here. Wait, is that the part that I hear? Good, it is. How did it get there? Does it move silently? Or is it always on patrol? Yeah, it's patrolling now. Does it shoot arrows as well? I mean, he's got a big cannon on top. I suppose it does kind of behoove us to find out the <laughs> capabilities of this new bot, right? What does this take me? Further away from our enemy, that's for sure. That's probably good news. It's very dark. And I guess I got flares that I don't need, right? I can sacrifice a flare to the video guards. Another ladder? Hang on, I'm hearing more footsteps. Where are we? What? It's a fountain? <laughs> Yay, for level design with bad ladder dismounts. <laughs> I think I've still got a hearing question, right? <laughs> There's a fountain on the rooftop. Huh. And a nice little guard. They've got trees and everything. What is, what is wrong with these mechanists? Why do they plant decorative trees? Why do they have a fountain that's a fountain of water rather than sparks? I mean, these guys have no taste. But I don't know what it means to be a mechanist. They all deserve to die for their heresy. See, that's why I'm really here. That explains why Crinch has all this mechanist stuff. He's the true mechanist, and these guys are all like... Oh, we're gonna... Did that close itself, or did I close it? I don't know. He's like, I'm the true mechanist. These guys are like... Tree huggers. Water drinkers. They're probably vegetarians. I want to check out the fountain too. It might have some water crystals. Although I haven't used a single water arrow. Because I haven't seen a single place to use one. Uh, I bought a bunch thinking they would be useful. Oh, okay. This continues onward. I thought it was that. I wondered where that mechanism had gone. Is it patrolling around the roof? Well, we're not coming back this way yet. How far does this go? Oh, now they're coming back. Well, we're gonna have uh, some unauthorized swimming in the fountain, I believe. Before that, we're going to see where this rooftop takes us. No, let's do the fountain first. Recreation first, then work. That's the way to do it. So now I understand. This makes sense. This is why the mechanists put a beautiful fountain on the rooftop. Because it's lovely and pleasant and fun to swim in. And it's got water crystals, which I don't have a use for.
Listen to the beautiful singing. All the mechanists. Now oh, there's another one. Ooh, this little movement's a little weird, but that's one. Maybe there's one on top. I can't see. Can't see anymore. Where's the other? Where's the other mechanist that we uh, encountered? Here we go. You also have earned yourself a swim in this beautiful pond. Here we are. Ooh, you went trendy modern modern rhythms there. All right, save onward. So what? Wow, well, there's a whole whole lot of stuff out here on the roof. Is this even on the map? No, I mean not really. Oh, is this the directorate? I guess that's the doors from the directorate. Oh no, that opens this. Oh, this is not the roof. I guess everything's underground. Because, yeah, we were there. Right, 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 right. This must be ground level. Well, maybe, I mean... Given the location of these places, big front gates, yeah, this is ground level. Okay. I mean, it functions as a roof because most of the facilities are underground, which I hadn't really conned on to. So this would be the door to... Packing and shipping, right. Right, so we're now we're on the outside, so now maybe we have access. If we go the long way around to there, but we have some more swimming to be done. Sorry, this is important. I'm tempted to use my speed potion here to speed this up, but I can foresee possibly still needing to use it. We didn't place an explosive charge while we were there in experimental, which honestly that had been my plan place the charge and get out, but it turns out I wasn't expecting to come out at ground level. Ground level fountain and trees makes a little more sense than rooftop fountain and trees. I will say that. Alright. Join your fellows. Have fun. You almost sound like you're enjoying that. Alright. Onward. Some things are very important to do, right? Mechanists, mechanists. Less mechanists is better mechanists. Although, you know, I have no idea the politics of these mechanists, particularly, I mean, they're making lots of rather dangerous machines, which have no peaceful purpose. They're working with Blackbrook to invade the city and kill a lot of people. It's all pretty bad stuff, but it's not quite as bad as Karis's let's destroy the entire world and every living thing kind of deal, right? Karis's deal was a little bit worse. A little bit more unconscionable. Ah, this seems to be where we were trying to get to before. No, but nearly. Where are we? We're on the north side? Okay, we need to go around the next side of the building. I don't know, this, this exterior, like I said, it was a little weird that all those doors were fully sealed, but it's weird that all the doors to the exterior are fully sealed, and there is still a functional exterior that you have to get to. Hello, I see somebody there. I think might hear us jump in the water. <laughs> On the plus side. <laughs> you get to go swimming too. And we don't have to take you all the way back to the fountain. I don't know where that goes. It's 
heading west. Oh, there's into the water power station. Okay, so we could maybe get in that way. If we wanted to. But it might not be healthy for us. It's almost certainly not the easiest way back inside. There's a door over here. That we'll be able to access, right? So one of the explosive charges goes down right here, I see. You know what? We might as well put it in, right? We're still one short. I don't know where we're going to get it from. But we can open this now. So we've done that one. Tick it off. Oh, that's too low. Yeah, take it off. And if we come around here, we just find there's a little bit of the fence that we couldn't get out. You know, we could see through before, yeah, and nothing. Nothing for it. It's very weird there's a lever that moved the fence a tiny bit. Alright, so if we go back in here, it's relatively short back to the experimental division, but... We want to go back to the test area, right? I want to go back down that ladder. I'm going to go the long way around. It probably takes about as long as going through the lab, through the experimental rooms, finding the way to the test entrance, crawling across the beams again. At least here we don't have to be stealthy. It's also annoying we can't, we couldn't open up these doors from the inside and it wouldn't make any sense for us to open them up from the outside, but it's just very annoying that we get to go to the outside and then can't connect the outside and inside properly. Oh well. Alright. Nearly there. Oh, they've even got some animites set to turn on and off. Nice, but rather pointless detail out here. I mean, it's a rather pointless detail wherever it happens, but in, at least in a city area or a sneaking area, it can it can be relevant. Okay. So where's the rest of this passive radio? I'm just going to risk being noisy, because... Hopefully there's no sound that goes anywhere. Right, another very long ladder, so this should hopefully take us down to the other side of the... ...testing division. And so maybe I should be quiet now. All right, this is the one we already opened. Okay. So where is our fine feathered friend? Right there. Very patient. I'm very quiet. And very invisible. And you better not just sit there. He did walk on before, but of course I can't see now if he's walking on or still just sitting there. Invisibly, it's so inconvenient. Hmm, this one's lacking a thing on top. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. This has got red thing on top, this one does not. Okay, he hasn't moved. So 
we know I'm gonna have to move or what? I mean, we can go and run back through and up and over and inconveniently. Maybe we're gonna have to? If your sister wants to sit here staring at this exit, I don't really get much choice, right? Although, you know what? We haven't tested out what he can do, right? Maybe we should find out. When he's visible again, of course. I mean, he's not silent, he makes this big noise, but it's not very, uh, directed. Let's go test, let's do some experiments. <sighs> Flamethrower. <sighs> on the flamethrower. Oh, wow. Okay. I should not be zoomed. It's confusing me. Ouch, that hurt a lot. Hmm. I think, I think, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I think that's enough science. Let's uh, do it the other way. Sorry, mate. I didn't realize I was zoomed in. <gasps> he better not try any funny business now. Oh, he's trying funny business now. Is he cheating? Does he know we're there? Is he just absolutely cheating? Like a cheating bastard. So it's the northwest side. Is it in here? Oh, we do have another event we can access. Ah, two more invisibility potions. Okay, that's nice. Such a place to be almost impossible to grab. Okay. Oh yeah, he's absolutely cheating. Look at that. Well... Play that game, I guess. Oh, right, that opens from the outside, not from the inside. Is he just sitting there looking in here now? I guess I can't tell because he's, he seems to be moving away, judging by the sound, but he's also seems to be invisible. Maybe the sound isn't going away. Can't tell if he's not there or if he's just invisible. Very inconvenient design. It's not really tense, it's just like. Well, I guess I said wait. I it's dark enough here from the peak room. Oh, he does make footstep noises when he moves. Oh, he's kind of confused, okay. That's fine. Let him stay confused. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Anything on this middle shelf? No. Anything here? Oh, book. The experimental combat robot is resistant to any kind of impact and can only be destroyed in one way, with a powerful magnetic impulse. Such an event is unlikely in battle, but this principle is the basis of the self-destructing system designed in case of capture. When needed, the robot can destroy itself by turning on an electric current through a special source of magnetic impulse. The radius of the impulse is limited, so nearby robots will not be damaged as well. The impulse source is placed in the rear lower part of the robot's body, behind the special service hatch. Access is possible with wrench number 5. Okay, wrench 5. 5. I guess it was magnetic source, right? Magnetic source. Into rear access hat. Is he still stuck? Sounds like he isn't. Is this the, uh... Magnetic source. 
No. It's just a flash of devices. Lots of... As long as he's still stuck there. Okay, it's gonna be a rounded thing. Well, if he's still stuck there, that might give us a good opportunity. If you see he stays stuck there, it'll give us a very good opportunity to wrench open his ass and shove a magnet in it. Not a bomb. If we can find one, of course. Fuse. But if that turn all the lights out. Hmm. Does seem to have turned all the lights out. Now I can't see if there's a lever in here. Okay, it's going to be extremely dark now. Oh, he's got a light on him. That's cool. And he's absolutely cheating. He knows I'm here. That's all metal. I don't really want to be running across there. Okay, so what's in this section? Oh, this is destroyed targets. So where's the magnetic source? Is it not in this zone at all? It might not be. It might have been in the uh, assembly room. Or parts storage. I mean, there's no objective to destroy this guy, but how do we get to parts storage? I haven't got any answers from coming out here. And that's inconvenient to me. And now I can't see where the ladders are. <laughs> I've got to run through here. I've got to see if there's anything in here. I feel like there isn't, but I gotta see. Yeah, it seems to be no. So there's a ladder on one of these. So when he goes invisible, what happens to his light? Here we go. So that's the way we came down, I suppose. We still haven't found the explosive charge place, right? Maybe it's up here? This is the northwest side. This is not the ladder we came down. This is a different ladder. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on, get up. Let's reload that. Bad ladder design. Oh shit. I just swear I ran through. Alright, let's go find the ladder again. That's oh, good. That's easy. Convenient. So I can't walk off the ladder and trying to mantle off the ladder that to me is doing a doom jump. This is not like jumping in doom, which is I guess it was because it wasn't much of a jump. <laughs> but a jump to my doom. Alright, let's put another charge in here. Can I use the one without the red thingy on top or is it gonna complain? Any? No, it's fine. Okay. Just a cosmetic difference then. Is that an accessible area there? Well, there's a lift. Go check that out then. Be something up in here that might be important. Maybe this is going to give us access to that storage, or maybe we're going to open it up and find another experimental bot facing us, looking us in the face. No? Doesn't open. Well, that's unhelpful. I try. 
jumping. <coughs> no, can't even make it that way. Um. That's where we came in. Is there another doorway on this thing? Let's assume he can't see us up here, which is maybe a bad or something. Right, and it's back where we were. This is the, where we put the charge in. Oh, there's some more flares down there under the elevator. You know, you look for loot under elevators. Do we really need flares? No. don't think he can hear us up here. He's not reacting as if he can. This feels a lot more Half-Life than Thief, I've got to say. Um, oh, does this go up? This is not how we came in? Oh, this is how we came in. Oh, that's just this door. Which we can't open. But that's the elevator to it. Okay. Um, so I've not found a wrench number five. Given that we can pick up the manual, it does feel like we should be able to destroy it, but maybe that's a, maybe that's only on expert that that's a requirement? I don't know. Right, that's the rear socket. The thing that goes in the air. Oh, is it a fuse that goes in there? I mean, it looks like it, but we couldn't pick up the fuse after we took it out. I don't think so, right? What have we got here? Boundary. Have we been... We have. We have been in here, although we have not explored the ground level of it. I don't think there's... really anything much to explore. Okay, that's shut to keep the camera's eyes away. <sighs> yeah, we've been here. Okay. Are these making anything? Doesn't appear so. <sighs> so I don't know how to get in past stories, so I don't know how to... Oh, what's this? Oh, blessed silence! Maybe that's, maybe we need to do that? I mean, it's not quite silent, but it's got rid of the worst noise. We need an access card to get into this armory as well. Maybe we do need to turn this machines off for something? This one doesn't seem to have an off switch. And it's got a big tank of something leading into it, but... Well, there's an off switch. <laughs> okay, so does that do anything for us? Maybe it doesn't actually achieve anything. Maybe it just lets us get rid of the flashing and the noise. What's this say? Attention, you can only call the installer after turning off all welding devices. Okay, it's call the installer. What? I don't like the sound of that. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello, I see a fire up there. Circuits 
is south, which is the um, oh, this helps get the other. jump across. So I guess the idea is you set it going and then I can jump across. Okay. I'm pulled to my death. <laughs> oh. Nearly made it. It's slightly too high actually. It's not a very consistent jump this one. Again, the, you know, you should make ledges that you want to run and jump to like this quite, up, quite deep. So that you have less stupid trial and error. Let's wait till that's well out of the way. No, no good. Uh. Okay. Found secret. Cool, cool. Now we gotta get back. Although getting back is easier, we just do this. Because there's a ladder here. Alright. Ah, and there's. There's our other detonation point. Alright, I guess we put the charge we have in there. We've got two sockets left. We have one charge we just do not have. I thought we can run circular swords, I don't know how that'll be useful. Right, that's the cannons that they've got for the top of the machine. I can't run that machine at all. Or this one. Or this one. Oh, there's our number five wrench. Okay. And just now we need the thing to source it. The magnetic thing. Alright, I guess, I guess we could probably find an access card in here that lets us into parts storage, maybe? Okay, this is just cool. This is back to the assembler. Oh, there's a book on top. Let's read the book. <laughs> How to use your new lathe. The head weapon of the experimental combat robot is used to shoot caliber 1.17 explosive shells. When the robot is destroyed, the shells in the internal store do not detonate which provides safety for any people or machines nearby. Such behavior is produced by a special electric activating system. When shooting, the electric current is supplied to the shell contacts causing detonation and after short delay, and explosion. Aha. So we absolutely need to destroy this robot to get the fifth shell that we need. Okay. Nice. Um, that explains the flamethrower in the lab, right? The flamethrower in the lab was was the flamethrower that this mach that this bot has, and the of course the other the head weapon is the head weapon. Huh? Is there something in the ventilation system I need? Uh, I was just saying, seeing this big machine, this this weird green spinny gear and brass knob thingy machine on the wall is very funny to me for a reason I cannot disclose. But it might make sense to you at some later date. Who knows. So nothing in here, it's just open the ventilation, okay. Where do we find the magnetic thing? It's gotta be part storage. But how do we get to part storage? We have the wrench, I should mark that we put the thing in here, right? We did this one. And we did the test department. But how do we get into part storage? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have to go look up that hint, aren't I? Because like just like that other person in this forum thread, I don't know how to get into part storage. And now it is the only thing I've got left. Hello, there's a flash bomb. I get it. 
I'll be right up in front of it to grab it. I've complained about the big distances enough. I don't need to complain about them again. But I will, haha. Uh -huh. Part storage needed a key, right? Maybe there's another way into part storage that we hadn't seen. So if I go north. Ah. Hang on. There's a little shed marked on the map, which is interesting if we can't get out there, right? These three. I don't know how we got there. Okay, let's go north. Let's check that. Make our way back to... Right, out through here, which is the way into this whole experimental section. Experimental department. Trying to avoid the camera, let's close that door, because it's... ...unhelpful. Okay. This is the lab, so there, yeah, this is the flamethrower for testing. That makes sense now. Parts storage. Come on, we need to get in here. There's a little vent on the south side of it which goes to the outdoors. But that's too small. That's like two units. It's way too small for us to fit through. There's a vent on that machine, but again, too small for anything. So how the hell do we get in there? I mean... What even are the parts coming out? Maybe we should have a look at the parts that are coming out of there. We can get on top of here... Somehow? I forget how. Here, we can get on top. This is cogs and glass plates. That's useless, okay. I thought there might be some kind of clue to be had there, but nope. How are we gonna get down? I guess we're just gonna take a damage, maybe. No, we're alright. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. We've been all over everywhere, I mean, you'd think. Maybe this records will have some keys or something, but no, we've been over everywhere and found no sign of the key. And what do we do with the shell in the armory? Let's go back to the armory. Uh, let's just go north through sorting. Right, we have one thing left to do. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. That's not what we're using then. We don't need to... Oh, it it's set up with a lock and key, which is... Fine, I suppose, but not... Can we put our bracelet on there? Put our poison on there, I don't want to right click on the poison. That'd be a bad idea. Okay. I don't know what to do in the armory, I don't know how to get into the part storage, and I have no leads on either of them. I'm supposed to just magically know, I suppose, or magically know what I haven't found. Again, don't design missions this way. You have to point the player to the clues, generally, multiple times in different ways. Don't repeat the same way, but do, you know, have multiple things all leading towards the same clues. You've got to be able to find the damn stuff that you want them to do. Alright, well... I'm going to pause here, I suppose, and look up some hints. Okay, well... 
apparently the lab is the place to be. Which is... No, I'm lost. In here. I looked in here, I didn't see anything. Apparently we are supposed to climb into the fireplace here. <gasps> because of course the, it wouldn't be a chimney, it would be a <gasps> bad ladder to smell. Taking you to an air duct into the room you couldn't get into. So that makes sense. You want the smoke to ventilate into the parts room. I don't care. Whatever. We're in here now. That's it. But as simple as that, but I looked in and I didn't see anything and concluded that there was nothing. Well, here's our flash bombs. What are these things? I don't know. Anything on the top? More flash bombs. Well, we have no use for any of them. Oh, that's not a vent, it's a glass case. Part storage key, okay. Why isn't this one just a lever? I don't know, but... We just have a lever on the inside like the others. Why has it got a separate key? Is there any other parts of any value here? This is like glass... It's gotta be something about you. Oh, that is one of these we can pick up, these others we can't. Okay, we've got a detonator now, and I guess we can use that in the armory. Not the armory. That's going to be the last thing we need here, right? We've got the cannonballs. Put the detonator on. And then... Cool can with dangling detonator. Okay, I know how to fix that. We found one machine we could use. Well, I don't think the circular saw. We found two machines we could use. I don't think the circular saw is... is the right one. But if we go... to the experimental stamping room, there's a nice little stamping machine there which should be able to close this thing shut, right? I hope it doesn't set it off, but the detonator should be electrical only. And the stamping machine is down here and round, isn't there? Here we go. Let's hope this works. If it goes boom, then we'll be in trouble. Okay, we've got an explosive charge. We're still one short, but we know where the last one comes from, right? Uh, the last one comes from the bot. But... How the hell do we destroy the bot? Where, how do we get the magnetic thing in me? It's got nothing to do with this chassis, because it would have to go in the back of this chassis. And it's back. The cover isn't even on. I thought the parts room would do it. But apparently not. If we, if we can check the armory again. What did we even find in here? I mean... Apart from us... This is odd, because... That saw blade lights up. What are we supposed to... What are we supposed to be sawing in half? It's probably not this, right? <laughs> That's odd. This something's meant to be done with this because it's, ah. it's not spinning. You, uh, whatever. Like lean over and cut my chin on it. Garrett tries to shave with a circular saw. So obviously, there's another bit of adventure game logic here that. I was supposed to have found something, and I have no idea what or where, and then we use it on there, I don't know. Maybe the shells from the bot are too big and we're going to have to cut it in half, maybe that's what that's for, I can't see how that helps us with the magnetic MacGuffin that we need. 
that I've got no clue on. Let's see, does the book tell us anything? I don't think so, right? Powerful magnetic impulse. Special source of magnetic impulse. Okay. All I can think of, and it seems like a ridiculously long shot, is power storage, right? Power storage was a room which had no value for anything um, that we could see. Well, no, the casing was in there, but it had no other value. So we can try and get back there. Where is it? Uh, I guess we can go this way. Right, yeah, the water comes in there. What happens if we go in the water, by the way? Nothing. There's our friend. I'm going to leave the camera alone. But we would not care if it goes off because it can't load anybody. Like, maybe this is a room which has a sorts of magnetic stuff. I mean, I didn't see anything in here. But now we picked up the book. Now, maybe that's enabled something. It's not. wouldn't be the first time in this campaign that finding one item makes a thing you could not prop suddenly probable. It doesn't seem to be the case. I don't see anything that looks vaguely magnetic. Maybe the water power room? Honestly, I just want to blow up this camera. I'm gonna. Take that. We've got, you know, electromagnetic stuff here, presumably, but it doesn't lead to anything. Generators. Generator room didn't have anything, is there? Generator parts we could get? They should have magnetic thingies, right? I didn't realize I had that many. I could have been destroying cameras all this time, so I guess that's, I know three cameras to destroy. Uh, magnetic, how can I open this up and get some... Get some magnets out of this. Come on, give me your magnets. Where else might we look? Oh, there are cameras there, but I don't care about those ones. So we got to part storage, okay. Manual shell calibration, we're down with that. I don't think the coal is anything. I don't think we care about that anymore either, but... And we killed that bot. Maybe there's something in the design. We didn't find anything at all in the design area except three apples, right? Maybe I missed something? There's two cameras in there. We could get rid of those. And go have another look. Go through the foundry. Unless, the only other thing I can think of is somewhere in the assembly... Yeah. Okay. Alright, wrong material storage, yeah, whatever. 
I heard a noise and I thought it was a trap door opening. Um. Soulforge? Soulforge maybe have uh, magnetic thingies? Are you a magnetic thingy? I mean, you're the same device we're seeing everywhere, more or less. Well, there's two of them. Are these from System Shock 2? I wonder. I don't know. They're complex. They're. But they're low poly in very dark engine style. They might be from another game of the year, I'm not sure. This is an animating machine. Hmm, how did we get up there again? Take your face? No. Alright, it's up here. Extra. Well, there's a speed version up here. Nothing otherwise. I, mean, I suppose we could break the glass. Probably not that right. We have an unlimited set of broadheads basically, so I can throw a can at it. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You look electric, not magnetic. You're probably gonna hurt me. Uh I'm gonna have to look up another hint because I mean hint, I'm gonna have to look up another answer because this mission did not give you guidance in any way. It's not even you don't have to lead players by the nose of things, but you have to be give them enough clues to form a map pointing to the things so they can find them themselves, even if you have a web of relatively obscure clues. Other things that don't help is like having unreadable readables all over the place because it makes it very easy to miss one that is readable that's important because they all look the same, the ones that you can't use and the ones that you can. Alright, where I was going to go? Back to exploring, design... We didn't miss anything past storage, right? It was just the detonator in here, I think. Plus flash bombs. Unless a flash bomb is supposed to be a magnet. But I can't use the flash bomb on the thing, right? It's flash bomb throws when I use it. I don't think that's the answer. It would be funny, kinda, if it was. It'd be a shame not to not to avail myself of the free arrows before we blow this place up, you know. You never know when I might need a lot of arrows next mission. You know what, I don't need to tell you where was the design department? Up oh. these stairs or Right, this is the upper level of the design department was here. Okay. 
Now I can thoroughly inspect all these cubicles that are going to be empty because I'm sure none of them have anything for us. This is the design department. Why would they have a magnetic source here? But I did a very cursory inspection last time and maybe there's something. Unlikely, I guess, but maybe. It's just a shadow. I mean, maybe there's more apples. I would not say no to more apples. If that's all we get out of here, that would be fine, but... Looks like we're going to get nothing out of here. And I don't want to drop down there. Let's go down the stairs. And yeah, this camera gets it. This camera gets to... Gets to die as well. Take that! Uh, and this is the lower level design department. No, it's not. This is... Wait, where's this? Oh, this is the stamping room. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's not anything in here. Oh, I mean, you don't count. <sighs> Such good... Thievery mission design. It's a cool level in so many ways, and then it has all this tedious, you don't know what to do, and you can't find out from the mission, so you're just wandering in circles. Alright. Well, I'm still missing two things. No, I'm missing one thing. One question is, where is that electric magnetic thing? Well, I guess I'm going to go look it up. And you know what? I'm going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you back here with some answers for the next episode.